Alrighty, we're going to be working on strengthening our core and upper body with Vashanasana, which is your side plank pose. So you can come into it just easily through a side plank, or if you're particular, from your tabletop position, your right palm comes right down into the center underneath your head, and then that top left leg is going to extend out. This is actually already setting up into an option pose by keeping the right kneecap down, okay? The idea here is making sure A, that palm is directly underneath the shoulder, the fingertips are firmly planted down, scapula is rolled down and back, okay? That's your most biggest priority here. But as you start to extend that opposite leg back, so you're in your, you're in your classic side high plank pose, it's about the curvature of your lower back. So tuck the tailbone, you're trying to press that growing forward and then lifting up through the chest. Your other option is taking that top leg and placing it just in front of the body as well if you want to go for that. Taking about one to two more breaths before we switch on to the other side. So slowly release that left palm down, dropping down on the right knee and then switching. Left palm down to the center of your mat, extending that back left leg opening up and stacking the right side of the body on top of the left, start to reach the right arm up. Again, priority is in that arm, and second is in that lower back. Pay attention that the bum does not fall. You're keeping your tailbone tucked, slight squeezing in through the side glutes. You'll feel it much more when you're coming into your full set, extending both legs toward the back of the mat. Many different variations, as have been noted. You can always take that top leg, place it in front of the body, and still get the same level of work and that firing through your belly. But once again, two more breaths, keeping your core line tight, shoulders are stacked on top of each other, and then slowly release down. So the biggest priority there, good way to practice, is actually doing it up against the wall. You want both shoulders to touch, and both hips to touch the wall. From there, tucking your tailbone, really pulling your belly in and back to work on lengthening out through that spine.